Mm -mm. Drinks at. Oh, hey, it's you. <sighs> like, and j time simply starts slipping away when you're enjoying a delicious specialty. Uh, but you don't seem of age to drink. <sighs> well, that shouldn't be a problem. It should be a piece of cake for her to whip you up a drink with no alcohol in it. Oh, and uh, not to mention, uh, Diona is also pretty cute. Just like a little kid. <laughs> uh oh. Anyway, if you want to check out the cat's tail for yourself, the entrance is just around, uh, th I'm gonna... All out of ingredients. Again. Ugh! I really don't understand why these adults love to drink so much. Because all the drinks you make are so delicious. All it takes is just one sip and they're hooked. Hmm. Huh. And I thought self-control was the most important quality of being an adult. Well, it just so happens that self-control often falls by the wayside when someone's enjoying one of your delicious specialty drinks. All that means is that they're nothing but a bunch of drunkards that don't know when to stop. Hey, who you calling Kitty? Haven't you seen any one of the Cat's Line bloodline before? Oh, hello there. Are you here to visit the Cat's Tail? Here for the kitties, huh? <laughs> I suppose we do have a lot of cute cats here. They're all quite friendly. In fact, many other customers are here for the same reason. After all, there aren't many places in Mondstadt where you can just relax and interact with friendly cats. Hmm. I've never seen such a bunch of arrogant and stubborn cats. I don't understand why people like them so much. Besides, shouldn't the main purpose for going to a tavern be drinking without getting cat hair in your beverage? What kind of reason is that? So long as they're cute, nothing else matters? Well, judging from the customers, that seems to be the case. <laughs> See? This traveler is here for the cats as well. However, you've come at a most unfortunate time. Our cats seem to have snuck out to play somewhere. If you're willing to wait, Diona here should be able to bring them back shortly. Huh? When did I agree to go fetch those little troublemakers? Consider it a task straight from tavern management. Besides, the cats are quite fond of you, so you're the natural pick for the job. <sighs> They're probably just bored and wandering off to get people's attention. Is that so? <laughs> well, anyway, it'll be up to you to bring them back here. Oh, and didn't you say that you're here to see the kitties? If you're up for it, perhaps you could accompany Diona to retrieve them. Maybe after interacting with them for a bit, the cats will get to know you and seek more of your attention. The three cats that snuck out are Roger, Nelson, and Paisley. Diona, you usually take care of them, so you should be quite familiar with these three, right? Ugh, them again. And they even dare to sneak out during working hours. <sighs> Don't they have any sense of duty as tavern cats? Come on, not every kitty can be as reliable and caring as you, Diona. I am not a cat! Whatever. So all we have to do is bring them back to the tavern, right? Well, it shouldn't be a problem. Let's scurry out of here. They love wandering around the center of town, so let's check there first. I'll leave you to it. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on things here at the tavern. Once you've found the little rascals, please bring them right back. Their tracks end here. Looks like they ran off somewhere else. Ugh, don't worry. Those cats are very stubborn. But it's because they're stubborn that they're also easy to understand. 
<laughs> I have another idea. Let's pay a visit to Marjorie at With Wind Comes Glory. Roger broke his cat toy recently, and I ordered him a new one there. Maybe he snuck out because he didn't have anything to play with. I... I only know these things because I want them to do their job and not mess around. Come on. Let's head over to Marjorie's store. Oh, hello, Diona. You must be here for the cat toy you ordered. I just finished preparing it and made it extra durable according to your request. Your kitty should be able to play with this one for quite some time. Much appreciated. Marker will come and settle the fees later. No problem. So, that cat named Roger, is he usually at the cat's tail? <laughs> That's right. He's almost always in the tavern. Wonderful. I'll definitely make some time to head to the tavern and play with him. Oh, I see. Well, you're welcome to visit any time. I gotta say, you're awfully particular when it comes to taking care of that cat. <laughs> you even provided me a list of materials to use for his cat toy. Well, that's just because Roger tends to get excited whenever he plays with the customers. He always ends up ruining his toy. This time we needed to make it more durable so that it would last longer. He usually just lounges on the cabinets when no one's around. You really think so? <laughs> well, I'm not interested in figuring out what those cats are thinking. They're just stubborn. That's how all cats are. Let's head over to Sarah at Good Hunter. She always makes Nelson's cat food. He's the one that always eats the most. And even though he's always eating, he somehow weighs the lightest. <sighs> I really have no idea what he's up to all the time. Welcome to Good Hunter. Oh, hey, Diona. How can I help you? Hello, Sarah. I'd like some more of that cat food I bought last time. Oh, is my favorite kitty, Nelson, hungry again? <laughs> Hold on one moment. I'll have the kitchen prepare it for you. All right, here's the cat food. It hardly takes any ingredients to make, so it's on the house. But please, if you can bring Nelson with you next time, everyone wants to pet him. Sure, I... I'll see if he wants to come. Nelson's not usually very fond of people, but as soon as he smells some dried fish, he'll do anything you say. And once he starts eating, ugh, he doesn't ever stop. Someone has to drag him away from the food. Kind of like the old drunks at the tavern. But the amount of food isn't too much this time, so it'll be fine if he finishes it all. All right, we have all we need for now. Let's go find Roger and Nelson. We'll deal with Paisley later. Roger always likes to sit in high places. Huh. Maybe we should go check the rooftops. Do you know how to get on top of the buildings here? If not, you can just wait down here and I'll take care of it. Really? You don't look like much of a climber, but if you say so, let's go up and look for Roger together. I will make you better. See that cat there? That's Roger. Oh, he really picked a high place to sit this time. But don't get too close. If we startle him, he might run away. 
<sighs> okay. Remember all the things we prepared? Now is the time to make use of them. So, do you remember what would be better for attracting Roger? Hey, you've got a pretty good memory. That's right. Cat toys are Roger's favorite. Wow! He let his guard down almost immediately. Looks like he was just waiting for someone to come and play with him. Oh, that little rascal. He always looks so smug, but the moment he sees people, he suddenly becomes all loving and affectionate. No wonder the customers like him so much. The first thing they ask when they visit the tavern is if Roger's around. Eesh. Obviously, the cat's tail is a tavern, after all. No matter how cute these little kitties are, they're only there to compliment my cocktails. All right, let's bring along Roger and go find Nelson. Now, Nelson likes places that are warm. In fact, the last time I went looking for him, I found him in the bush next to the blacksmith. So, let's go look for him there. Keep this close. Yep! <laughs> I knew we'd find Nelson here. And he looks like he's about to fall asleep. Huh. Could it really be more comfortable than in the tavern? Anyway, let's take out the things we've prepared. I'll let you choose which to give him. That's right! Nelson loves eating this stuff. The cat food will definitely make him happy. Hmm. Don't the customers at the tavern already feed you enough? How can you still be so excited to see food all the time? Oh, and there you go, snarfing everything down as always. Why do customers like you so much? They even fight over who gets to feed you. Are you just pretending to be hungry all the time? Just to get the customers to come take care of you? Huh, what a cheeky little guy. No wonder customers completely forget about their drinks after seeing him. Take a hint? From him? We should probably just get more cats at the tavern. They seem to attract more customers than my drinks. <sighs> Go ahead, pick him up. He doesn't weigh much. I really have no idea how he stays so light. All right, let's go find Paisley. He used to always sneak out to go to the cathedral before. So let's start there. Nope. He doesn't like either of the things that Roger and Nelson like. I'll tell you more when we get there. Hard work is all there is to the craft. The right of parting?
Aha! Just where I thought I'd find you, Paisley. Eh, we don't need to do anything. Paisley doesn't fancy anything special. He just does whatever he's in the mood for. To sum it up, he's just a self-centered little cat. Even back at the tavern, he hardly ever interacts with any customers. Usually he prefers to just play with the other kitties. <sighs> but enough about Paisley. Let's just take him and head back. I'll pick him up. He doesn't usually run away when I carry him in the tavern. Uh, wait. You want to pick him up? I'm telling you, Paisley just ignores strangers. See? No response at all. Here, just let me do it. Listen, Paisley. Just be good and stay there. Okay? Oh, good kitty. Hmm, that'll do. <laughs> you really are pretty cute when you're being good. Uh, hey! Why are you looking at me like that, huh? He only listens to me because I feed him all the time. That's all. For some reason, many customers actually like his personality. Once Paisley bobbles his head at them, they all start looking like they'll be willing to buy him cat food for the rest of his life. <sighs> if only we got a few more cats at the cat's tail, then I wouldn't need to spend all my time making drinks anymore. All I'd have to do is take care of the kitties and let the customers come and pet them. If it weren't for the more my drinks bring in, how would we pay for their toys and food? Roger, Nelson, and Paisley. Yep, we found them all. Let's hurry and bring them back. Otherwise, they won't be able to work when the tavern opens tomorrow. It looks like the kitties are back, as well as our customer. Hey, I'm not one of the cats. Of course. In fact, Diona is our best bartender. Hmm. Please don't misunderstand my work as a bartender here. It's actually the first step in my plan of bringing destruction to Mondstadt's alcohol industry. You've seen the drunkards stumbling around the city, right? No matter how well-dressed or honest of a person they actually are, once they start drinking, they become terrible people. Nothing good comes of alcohol. It makes people foolish, lazy, and ugly. That's why I plan on making the most disgusting drink there ever was. Everyone will realize how terrible alcohol really is. That way, Mondstadt will finally be rid of alcohol and freed from its snarling teeth. Of course. And that's why I became a bartender in the first place. I must understand anything and everything there is to know about alcohol. This is the first step in my plan. What? Well, I... I'm still experimenting. You know, it's more difficult than you think to make the most disgusting drink the city has ever tasted. Anyway, I'll find a way to make my diabolical cocktail and keep everyone away from alcohol. <sighs> Although I haven't discovered hell yet, but I will. Anyway, didn't you come all this way to just see the cats? Now that all three of them are back in the tavern, why don't you go inside and play with them? Oh, and, and in return for all your help, I'll make a special drink just for you. Not alcoholic, of course. <laughs>
See that cat there? That's Roger. Oh, he really picked a high place to sit this time. But don't get too close. If we startle him, he might run away. <sighs> okay. Remember all the things we prepared? Now is the time to make use of them. So, do you remember what would be better for attracting Roger? Hey, you've got a pretty good memory. That's right. Cat toys are Roger's favorite. Wow! He let his guard down almost immediately. Looks like he was just waiting for someone to come and play with him. Oh, that little rascal. He always looks so smug, but the moment he sees people, he suddenly becomes all loving and affectionate. No wonder the customers like him so much. The first thing they ask when they visit the tavern is if Roger's around. Eesh. Yeah, that's the problem. Who cares about specialty drinks when you have these fluffy little kitties to play with, right? Ah, <sighs> if you ask me, the tavern doesn't need any more new drinks to attract customers. Just get more cats and people will come. All right, let's bring along Roger and go find Nelson. Now, Nelson likes places that are warm. In fact, the last time I went looking for him, I found him in the bush next to the blacksmith. So, let's go look for him there. Yep, <laughs> I knew we'd find Nelson here. And he looks like he's about to fall asleep. Huh. Could it really be more comfortable than in the tavern? Anyway, let's take out the things we've prepared. I'll let you choose which to give him. That's right. Nelson loves eating this stuff. The cat food will definitely make him happy. Hmm. Don't the customers at the tavern already feed you enough? How can you still be so excited to see food all the time? Oh, and there you go, snarfing everything down as always. Why do customers like you so much? They even fight over who gets to feed you. Are you just pretending to be hungry all the time? Just to get the customers to come take care of you? Huh, what a cheeky little guy. No wonder customers completely forget about their drinks after seeing him. Take a hint? From him? Ha! Huh, forget it! We should probably just get more cats at the tavern. They seem to attract more customers than my drinks. <sighs> Go ahead, pick him up. He doesn't weigh much. I really have no idea how he stays so light. All right, let's go find Paisley. He used to always sneak out to go to the cathedral. Nope, he doesn't like either of the things that Roger and Nelson like. I'll tell you more when we get there. Aha! Just where I thought I'd find you, Paisley. Eh, we don't need to do anything. Paisley doesn't fancy anything special. He just does whatever he's in the mood for. To sum it up, he's just a self-centered little cat. Even back at the tavern, he hardly ever interacts with any customers. Usually he prefers to just play with the other kitties. <sighs> but enough about Paisley. Let's just take him and head back. I'll pick him up. He doesn't usually run away when I carry him in the tavern. Uh, wait. You want to pick him up? I'm telling you, Paisley just ignores strangers. Listen, Paisley. Just be good and stay there, okay? Oh, good kitty. Hmm, that'll do. 
<laughs> you really are pretty cute when you're being good. Uh, hey! Why are you looking at me like that, huh? He only listens to me because I feed him all the time. That's all. For some reason, many customers actually like his personality. Once Paisley bobbles his head at them, they all start looking like they'll be willing to buy him cat food for the rest of his life. <sighs> if only we got a few more cats at the cat's tail, then I wouldn't need to spend all my time making drinks anymore. All I'd have to do is take care of the kitties and let the customers come and pet them. You agree as well? Ugh, fine. Once I get back, I'll suggest getting a few more cats and let them attract all the customers. <sighs> My specialty drinks aren't what the customers are after anyway. You know what? Just bring the cats back to the tavern. That's why you came in the first place, right? To see the cats. Hmm. I'll walk back myself. I have to hurry back. I convinced the tavern to hire a few more cats. They're the key to attracting customers, after all. Cocktails. <laughs> no need for those anymore.